let me show you this builder's most popular home. In this video, I'm gonna show you the most popular floor plan built by Taylor Morrison Homes. Now this is the Catalina floor plan. It's got over 5,200 square feet. If you do all the structural upgrades that Taylor Morrison is currently offering, we have five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, and this is an open concept two-story plan that has an incredible view off the back of the home. And this is good too, right when you walk in through the front door, we're open to the second story. And we're also gonna see that in this main living area. So first off, you have sliding glass doors that you can just see right out to that back patio. We have this wide open kitchen on the left side with the breakfast nook in the back. But I love what I'm seeing here above these sliding glass doors. We have these large transom windows. And then up there is a second floor balcony. And again, if you love views off the back of a home, wait until you see that balcony. It is amazing. Now we're gonna start here in the kitchen and while we swing around to the kitchen, let me introduce myself. My name's Rod Sahu and I've represented buyers as a realtor with 19 different builders. So I'll give you my perspective on this home. And by the end of this video, I wanna hear from you on what you think about this home in the comments. What I think about this kitchen is there is a fantastic contrast here. You have this kitchen island that has this incredible countertop that is a waterfall countertop going all the way down. You have these great veins running through it and the dark exterior cabinets I think are pulling those veins out, providing that great contrast that I think so many buyers want in their kitchen. Now we have monogram appliances with this eight burner gas stove top. We have this very large vent hood and I like how they extended the countertop into the kitchen backsplash. What a great countertop. Let me know what you think about all these different upgrades in the kitchen. Now, while we circle back to the kitchen island where we have this apron stainless steel sink, what I notice when I look up is definitely that fireplace tile. I like how it matches up with the countertop, but it's not exactly the same. It just has a similar theme, similar color pattern. And we're definitely gonna take a closer look at that main living room and then we're gonna head outside and I can't wait for you to see that backyard. Now, while we're over here, let's take a look at the pantry, which I would say is a good size expected at this square footage. And I'll just take a walk through to give you an idea of what that size feels like. And then right next to this pantry, we do have the entrance to a three car garage. So that would be the door to get into the garage. And that's exactly why they have this built in mud bench. Now to the right of this mud bench, we do have a utility room, but I'm gonna circle back to that room because I wanna get over to the living room. And while we head over there, I do wanna tell you that this is a model home. So it's just for representation purposes to show how this Catalina floor plan is all laid out. So if you like the idea of building this home from scratch, I'm gonna show you some lots here in a minute that show the views that are possible here in this beautiful community called Treviso. But getting back into the plan, I love this tile work done around the fireplace going all the way up to the ceiling. I love this feature in a living room because when everybody comes into this living room, it's so difficult to not have your eyes go all the way up to the top of the ceiling following that fantastic design work. This is also great. That's why I had to take a seat. I think these sliding glass doors open up this space so much. If you are looking to build this plan from scratch, the sliding glass doors do come with quite the price tag. It does vary with each community. So I don't want to mention that publicly in this video because it can change over time as well. But I think it is so worth it. Now, this being a model home, of course, they put sliding glass doors in this breakfast nook area as well. And this breakfast nook area is massive. It has an eight seater table. And this is what I like about Taylor Morrison. I think they do offer some good structural upgrades. So currently on their website, I'm seeing they have an expanded dining option, an expanded primary bedroom option, which we're gonna see after this patio. We have this covered balcony above this patio that I can't wait for you to see. But let's stay here in the patio. And actually better than that, let me show you some of the lots that are here in Treviso. Now here's a lot that gives you an idea of the views that are possible here in Treviso. So the floor plan that you're watching can be built on so many different lots right here in this beautiful community. Back to the video. 
And that's why I love coming out to Treviso. It just has so many unique lots where you just never really know what you're gonna get when a new phase of lots opens up here. Now on this specific lot, we do have a view off the back left of the home. We are a corner lot, so the roadway is on the right side of this home, kind of goes along that right side. But we have some great greenery and a great lot, and you'll see that when we get up to the second floor balcony. Now we're gonna head over to the primary bedroom and bathroom next, but I wanna give you one last look at this 10-seater dining table on this patio because I just want you to imagine taking a seat at this table and looking out to a view that looks out for miles. And that's what's possible here in Leander, Texas. And I should say there are so many different suburbs in the western, northwestern, and southwestern part of the Austin metro area that have these gorgeous hills where I have so many home buyers who reach out to me that are looking to move to the Austin metro and get views off their backyard. So I'll detail some ideas that I have for you later on in the video. But before we get to that primary bedroom, I want to just quickly show you this utility room, which has a sink, a lot of built-in cabinets, and even a second refrigerator location. Now we're gonna head over to one of my favorite parts of this home, and that's gonna be the primary bedroom bathroom combination. Now I love what they did here from a design standpoint. They have these beams running across the ceiling. They have an accent wall behind the bed. They even have light fixtures that hang down over both nightstands. Now on top of all this great design work, I love the two large windows on the back wall. I think it's one of the first things you notice when you walk in this primary bedroom, your eyes just wanna go right out through these windows. And I absolutely love it when builders do this. I think oftentimes we see these standard window sizes like your 3060, which is just means three feet by six feet. But I'm starting to see the great builders incorporate these larger window sizes just to make it feel less cookie cutter where all the windows are exactly the same size everywhere across the home. And I like builders that are changing things up. They're also changing things up in this primary bathroom that opens up so well. First off, when I walk into this bathroom, I feel like it's just so light and bright because of the tile work that they use here. So they have a great floor tile that has some veins running through it. You of course have this freestanding tub. I love the accent tile above this freestanding tub that goes nearly to the ceiling. And then prior to this, we saw a dark cabinet color on the vanities, which we'll come back to. And that just provides that great contrast in this bathroom. Now, same accent tiles on the floor here in this very large walk-in shower. We have the tile running all the way up to the ceiling and three different shower heads. You saw the rain shower head and two shower heads in here. It is such a big shower that they don't even need a door to get into this. And I know somebody's going to bring it up in the comments. I know that window is just wide open there right into the shower. Uh, rest assured, this is a model home so that nobody's living here at this time. But there is a film that you can put on those windows to still allow natural light to come in, but to make it feel like a rain glass or like frosted so it gives you privacy while you're in this bathroom. Here's another look at that cabinetry I was telling you about. Provides that great contrast. I like how they did another accent wall here uh, behind both mirrors. And I love these light fixtures that are hanging down from everywhere. Everywhere, but meaning in the pendant lights and the kitchen island were fantastic. The chandelier when we first walked in the home was great. And then we even have light fixtures hanging down above the nightstands and the primary bedroom you saw earlier, as well as here in the bathroom. While we go through this very large walk-in closet, uh, it's quite the walk to get to the back of this closet, I did want to mention in terms of light fixtures, there are so many options to explore aftermarket. What you want to get though is blocking for that light fixture because if you can't hold the weight of, that, uh, of a light fixture or a chandelier, Obviously, that's not going to help you if you're planning on doing that aftermarket. So when you're building from scratch, there is usually a separate electrical appointment with really any builder that I've worked with before that allows you to put in light fixtures, allows you to put in blocking for future light fixtures, put in fans, put in outlets. There's so many different things that you can do in that electrical appointment. Now I'll tell you something that I tell all of my clients, I would not be afraid to go after market with your light fixtures. And that means after you close on the home with the builder, it's very simple to change those light fixtures out. And you tend to have a lot more options when you go after market with a third party provider. 
Now, moving on, we are going to head over to the powder bathroom, which is right off of this main living area. Love the upgrades that they chose here where they did uh, another tile accent wall going all the way up to the ceiling in this powder bathroom. And then we are also going to see a second bedroom with a full bathroom in suite on the first floor. And I think this is what makes the Catalina plan stand out so much because so many home buyers during their home search process realize that this is an underrated part of the home, that second bedroom downstairs. And it's because there's an emotional element that comes with the second bedroom down. For a lot of home buyers, they tell me they, they want a comfortable place for their parents to stay with them on the first floor where they have their own space, they have a, you know, a, a closet, as well as an in-suite full bathroom that has a walk-in shower, and they want this bedroom to feel large. And as you saw previously, it's a good size secondary bedroom downstairs, and then here's your walk-in shower that has some great design upgrades, like this light floor towel, and then this dark thin towel going all the way up to the ceiling with that white grout outline. And of course, you're catching a little bit more of that view just in the window here in this full bathroom. And then they even have a separate door to get outside to that backyard patio that we saw previously. Now, why would they have that here? If you don't have your parents staying with you, then I think this could easily be a pool bath where if you have a pool back there, it's nice to have an exterior door that goes right into a bathroom. And as you can tell, Taylor Morrison really thought this through where, you know, a lot of buyers are planning ahead to have pools in their backyard. So I think that that is a fantastic upgrade to have that exterior door. What's also great is storage space. We saw some storage space underneath the stairwell, but I want to leave one of those storage spaces as a surprise. So there's like a doggy corridor area in there. You'll see what I mean here in about a minute. I want to go to the dining room. This is fantastic with the beams running across the ceiling. We have another accent wall and a 10 seater table. And I would steal all the design that you're seeing in this home because there's some great accent walls. I love some of the furniture pieces that they have in here. Even as we pan over to this butler's pantry, I like that tray that they have there with a couple wine bottles. It just looks elegant and gets that backsplash and these dark cabinets. Now, of course, we have a separate entrance into that kitchen. So you have quick access between the kitchen and the dining room, which is off the front of the home. And then also off the front of the home, we have a study, which we're gonna get to next. And then we're gonna head upstairs and we still have so much to see in this beautiful home. Now, this study does resemble why Treviso became so popular. So Treviso and this area of Leander, it's a little bit deeper into Leander. So for some people that are looking at how close it is to downtown Austin, it's it was further out than most people wanted to go. But during the pandemic, when there was a lot of people working from home, looking for more space, looking for a study like this that have windows off the front wall, transom windows off the side, so much natural light coming in, so many people started to move out to this community. Now it got so wild during the pandemic, people were bidding $400,000 to $800,000 just on lots. Now they weren't bidding so high because of things like this, but this is still very cool. This is like a doggy room uh, closet and it's connected in with the closet that we saw earlier that goes underneath the stairwell. But I thought this was so cool for uh, Taylor Morrison to utilize this space and then stage it as if like a dog is using that as their bedroom. But getting back to what I was talking about with the bidding, the bidding made a lot of sense because you had a lot of people looking at the outskirts of the Austin metro area and also looking at forever homes like this. And on top of that, the supply of lots were very low. There would only be a few lots open each month. And then of course that led to bidding because there was such a difference between supply and demand. Now, while we go through this sitting room that's halfway up the steps, I'll just tell you some good news. The good news is at the time I'm posting this video, there is no bidding and there are plenty of lots that you can build a plan like this on those lots, pick all your options. And there are even some lots that have incredible views. Now, while we get up to the top of the steps, I wanted to talk a little bit about the community of Treviso in detail while we go through this bedroom that has a full bathroom 
and currently this is one of the structural upgrades that you can do here so they already have two bedrooms upstairs uh, but this would be a fifth bedroom upgrade and that's what gets us to five and a half bathrooms now at the time i'm posting this video around this model home is the new section that has plenty of lots so you might have seen some uh, homes that were being constructed behind this home uh, there's a lot of uh, construction going on around this part of treviso they actually just put in a pocket park down the street and i just had a client close uh, down the street from this model home and they're already meeting a lot of homeowners that are moving in at the end of 2023. now what i like about this new section of treviso is they're putting in a second amenity center very close by pretty much walking distance from this home as well as the other homes that are being built around here and then when i say the back of the neighborhood sometimes people say well how how long does it take to get out of the neighborhood it does take a little while it takes like four to five minutes just to drive out of the neighborhood but they will eventually connect in the back of the neighborhood to the main road to exit the treviso community so instead of going through the community to exit the community you'll have a back entrance exit way if that makes sense also you already have an amenity center in the neighborhood that has a view from it kind of like what you're seeing through these transit windows and we will head out to that second floor balcony where you'll see that beautiful view of treviso and so there's so much going on in this neighborhood and on top of everything that i said they also have an elementary school that's going to be built at the front of the neighborhood and that's the exact combination I'm always looking for in these various communities because that's what so many buyers tell me they want. They want great amenities, they want on-site schools, and they want things to do around the area that they live in, which we'll get to a little bit later. And then they also want forever homes like this that have incredible views. And that's exactly what you're seeing in this huge game room. Look at the size of this game room. I can't remember what the name of this game is where you roll that disc across the table. I wanted to call it Ski Bowl, but I know it's not that. Somebody comment below on what that game is. And then also comment below on what you think about this view off the back left of this home. I mean, there is a home there in the distance, but you're still catching those rolling hills that go for miles along this northwestern corridor of the Austin metro area. Okay, you've waited long enough. We have to head outside to this second floor balcony because this is the dream right here. I have so many buyers that reach out to me, mostly through YouTube, and they tell me that they just love the views that they see in these videos. And at this time, I have to tell you that, first off, the size of this second floor balcony is amazing. You have a lot of room out here, a lot of furniture, but the views that you're seeing in front of you right now are being captured on my cell phone. I just have an iPhone. That's it. There's no special editing that I'm doing for this long shot. I know at the beginning of the video, you saw some cool intro shots to a song. I do have a videographer that captures those shots and I have a video editor, but my videographer also is just using his cell phone. And I'm the one who's shooting this right now because First off, I wanted to see this view for myself, but I also wanted to show it to you because I am genuinely passionate about showcasing what's here in the Austin metro area because I was surprised that there were these gorgeous hills right here in the middle of Texas. I never knew any of this existed. And as soon as I experienced this beauty that's out here and just love the cool vibe of Austin, I just found myself convincing all my friends and family to come out here and also look at the homes that you can buy in this area. It was incredible. And that's when I realized maybe I should just get into real estate because I keep finding I'm, I keep finding myself talking to everybody about possibly moving here or considering it because of what I was seeing. And so that's when I took the leap and I started doing videos, again, just using my cell phone, explaining what's out here. And I started to get very, very good at understanding who were the good builders, who were the bad builders, and who were the good options that were out there. And that's obviously been changing uh, month after month as these builders continue to change and as new communities continue to come up here in the Austin Metro. Now we're going to move on here in the media room, but I did want to tell you that if you needed help with new construction or just newer homes that are out there, reach out to me. My number's at the bottom of the description of this video, and you might be able to land in a home like this that had that gigantic game room, that beautiful second floor balcony, and maybe even a media room 
that has a window that has that same view. And this is what I love because most media rooms have no windows in them, so you can have that full theater experience. But I think on a home like this, maybe fitting one window here on the side makes sense to capture that view. I also love this gigantic chessboard. It's a pretty cool design to have on the coffee table there in that media room hangout area. Okay, while we pass over this wet bar that's in the game room, we have a couple of bedrooms to get to. And while we go through this, I want to talk a little bit more about the suburb that we're in called Leander, talk about the growth and the developments that are happening. And I'll even tell you where people are calling me from to move here to Leander and what they're saying about Leander without knowing anything about it. There are a lot of people are hearing about the Austin metro area from friends, from family that have moved here. They're seeing a lot in the news. You know, Austin's definitely been up there in the national news when it comes to real estate. So let's talk about all of that. Starting off with growth. Growth is all about jobs, right? That's the, the core of these cities growing is jobs come to an area. The biggest headline around jobs is definitely Apple building their second headquarters in the Austin metro area. But instead of instead of building it downtown, they actually built it 15 miles northwest of downtown. And now you're starting to see the bidding kind of makes sense, not just for the beauty in this community, but you're getting major employers under construction on these huge uh I wouldn't even call it buildings. They're actually calling it a full campus. It's like the Apple campus is what they're calling it. And it's because it's multiple buildings where they'll have the capacity in 2025 to become the largest private employer in all of Austin. A few miles away from that Apple campus, actually even further out of the city, is going to be two children's hospitals, one that just finished, another one that's going to be finishing sometime in 2024. And as a city, we're going to go from one children's hospital to three. And the two new ones are being built one mile apart from each other, about 18 miles northwest of downtown Austin. So as a realtor, and I, I know a lot of realtors, and they tend to hype up different areas for so many different reasons, this isn't hype. These companies are doing a lot of market research to understand where the growth pattern exists in Austin and where it will be for not just the next five years, but these are 10, 20, 30 year bets on these different parts of Austin. And so when they plant their flag with a huge hospital or a massive Apple campus, I think that says a lot about an area. Now, what follows jobs typically are businesses. Businesses want to be around the new growth, the new wealth that's moving to an area. And that's evident here in Leander with a project called Leander Northline and a, another project called Leander Springs. These are large mixed use development spaces that will have retail, office, hotel space, apartments, townhomes, basically an area that you can park your car and get that urban feel. So you don't always have to go downtown to get that urban feel. And that's what I find so many buyers that are looking around at the North Austin area end up landing in Leander because of the growth, the development, and the beauty that's here. Now, if you wanted to explore Austin together, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to help. My number's at the bottom of the description of this video. And then if you wanna see another popular floor plan with Taylor Morrison, go ahead and click on the thumbnail on your screen. That is the Laramar plan that has an incredible second floor balcony that also has an amazing view. As always, hope this helps. Take care, everyone.